What's going on guys, welcome back to my next YouTube video. In this video we're going to be breaking down Neo. We're going to talk about what it did, we're going to compare what I talked about last night and what it's doing today. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for being here. Let's get right into the video. So if you haven't watched my YouTube video last night where I talked about what I wanted Neo to do, go ahead and watch that before you continue watching this. Alright, so basically yesterday what I talked about in that video to sum it up is that I wanted a pullback on Neo. I said I want a slight pullback to this $59 mark for it to confirm this zone from the top side. And guess what happened, guys? We got that exactly today. And you notice something? Look right, right here. We have a wick, meaning that there were sellers here, but then buyers came up right at our $59 mark and it shot us right back up. So this is exactly what I want to see. I talked about this perfectly in my video yesterday and it played out. Now, since it did this, what do we need to watch for the rest of today's session? Because I know this video, I'm recording it early, but just want to head and get this out. Um, so what I want to see going into the rest of the day and setting us up for Tuesday. We definitely need to hold this $59 mark, guys. So let's say in the afternoon that we continue to sell off a little bit more. We don't need to break this $59 mark. If we do, we need to snap right back up in it before we close. So that's the main focus going into the end of today's session. Staying above $59 and holding above $59. Now if we do that, then it will set us up perfectly, perfectly for next week. It will set us up to a potentially heading back up to all-time highs and hopefully staying at all-time highs. Now if you're looking for an entry point on Neo, this is a perfect one. This is a perfect one to add on to or to start a new position, whatever it may be. I like this area right here. Yes, we're not exactly at 59 no more, but it's about a 50 cent difference. So nothing to you know lose sleep over at night. So let's talk about the scenario where we do hold $59 and we're able to continue this momentum. So what I'm looking for next week, remember guys, next week, Monday's closed. So unfortunately, we'll have a four day week, which I know sucks, but it happens. Um, so what I'm looking for, obviously, is it to hold this area right here. If we hold it, then we can start slowly uptrending back up to all-time highs at 6480 now i mentioned before that the 6480 mark what i want to happen is for us to push up to 6480 so if we're able to push up to 6480 then that is ideal now that is all-time highs and then we do have a rejection point right there now notice that when we got rejected here we came down three times one time right here another time right here and another time right here so this is an area that we need to get at and stay above i mentioned in my video yesterday that when we got to this area before on this resistance line we got rejected but this time where we called the breakout we got that small green candle and that's exactly what we need that's exactly what we need this time this small green candle and that will give us an indication that we are heading back up to all-time highs now i'm not saying we will but we could if we see that small green candle. So that's going to be our focus going into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is pushing up to resistance and potentially not finding sellers here so we can push through. Now, the bearish case is that today we fall below support. We fall below support and then we somewhere end up right in this area right here in our green box, maybe in here. Um, I don't want it breaking below this. Even if it gets to this, I'll still be questioning is Neil heading lower because then this trend line right here may start to be playing intact and we may follow underneath it from the downside again. Or we could potentially just get that bounce right here and then continue up this way. There's a couple ways we can go about it, but obviously this first way is the way that we want to hold because it looks like a perfect dip. I talked about that yesterday. We pushed up, got the dip by here. Now we can start our slow crawl up to the upside. So that's what I'm looking at for going to next week. So just to summarize the video, guys, holding above $59 is what you want so we can push up to $64.80. If we fall below $59, I do not want to get back below this $57 area. So those are two things you need to watch out for today and next week. I just want to add this portion in the video, guys, because actually before, while I was recording this or after I was recording this, Neo started to push up and um, took some option contract plays. So I just wanted to post that. I took the February 26th expiration date, 59.5 strike. Already up on that. So just want to add that into the video. We did see that bounce. So we were talking about Neo having that bounce here. 
We were right around here during that video at the time of the recording, so now we're starting to push back up again, and this is a reversal candle. So hopefully this holds, but I just wanted to add this portion in here just to show you a play that I was taking. And always, thank you for being here. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all 